the light in here in the morning is just so lovely. And so are you. Hello. How are you doing? This bunch of flowers is definitely on its last legs, but it has been so pretty here. Good morning everybody, welcome back to a new vlog. It feels like it has been so long since I last vlogged. It actually has, I think it's been weeks. I've definitely found it very strange trying to like readjust to life, life outside of my house. It's been a real like balance of just like managing to get the videos up that I already have planned in and then actually socializing and then doing all the things that like I need to do in life. It's been a lot, but I'm feeling really good today. Like the social overwhelmedness, if that is even a word, has like really died down. I'm feeling very organized, really good. I had one of those evenings last night, you know, where you clean the entire house and then you wake up the next day and it's just like sunny and the sun is like being in everywhere and you just wake up and you feel good. This morning I've had a call with my team and I've been prepping so that I can speak to you guys today without having to worry about doing lots of other little bits like sending things and there was some numbers stuff that my brain melted. It well and truly melted but I'm done with that now so it's just me and you guys and I've got so many things to talk you through today that I'm so excited about. So wow we're bright let's take that down a notch there we go much better you can actually see me now the sun is that time of year where my camera can't keep up with what the weather is doing but anyway this morning i am still in my dressing gown you may have noticed i'm not normally in my dressing gown this late into the morning however i have promised so many of you on instagram that i would talk you through my current products that i'm using tan wise and how i do my current tanning routine all of that so i'm going to talk you through that this morning and it was a really great excuse to stay in my dressing gown, I'm not gonna lie. I also forgot to film my coffee montage this morning, so I fully took that as a good excuse to have a second coffee this morning as well, so. It's a great morning. So yeah, my tanning routine is coming up. It is in partnership with Saint Tropez, which I'm so excited about. Honestly, such a dream brand to work with. So thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video. And I know so many of you are really excited to hear about the products that I'm gonna talk about because I haven't really talked about them in full yet. I'm also gonna show you some summer dresses that have arrived. And I'm really hoping that the weather is about to start cooperating with me. This is me doing like the opposite of a rain dance. My garden is thankful for the rain, but I'm really hoping that now that we've had some stormy weather in the UK, that this is it and it's gonna start getting warmer. This morning I woke up and I didn't have to immediately put my dressing gown on. So that was a good sign. Summer is coming guys, summer is coming. Also have some summer beauty things to talk you through. I went shopping in real life the other day and it was amazing. I went into a boots and just couldn't help myself. So I've got so much to talk you through over the next few days. And I'm glad it's more than a one day vlog to be honest because these eyebrows, they're big. They are big. Anyway, I need to get on with my day because otherwise I will just chat to you for a good 15 minutes. And as much as we love a 15 minute intro, I'm sure you'd just rather I got on with my day. Okay, let's do this. Oh, you can see the boxes that I've got to go through with you guys. Just there, just teasing you. So welcome to this section of the video, which is a paid for integrated partnership with Saint Tropez. I'm so excited to be working with them on this launch for the new Luxe Whipped Cream Mousse. I love it. And I know lots of you are so intrigued by the product. And some of you have said you're a little bit scared to try something new. And I totally feel that because I've been using the Saint Tropez Self Tan Purity Bronzing Water Gel. And I've been using this, this is empty, look at this. I've just recently used up another one. Don't worry guys, have backups. But I've been using it for so long and I got so used to it and I was like, oh, a new launch. I don't know, maybe I'll just stick with what I know. But I tried the new Luxe Whipped Cream Mousse, which is their collaboration with Ashley Graham and it is so good. So I'm so excited to be able to give you guys a demo today and to be working with them. Just having that little extra glow gives me a real boost of confidence. So I'm a big fan of tanning all year round. This is the ultimate glow kit and in it, it has the new Luxe Whipped cream mousse which has this incredible packaging let me see if i can show you this there we go i am obsessed with this packaging saint tropez if you are watching please don't ever change this packaging because it is just everything it looks so cool so luxe it's just such a nice design like really really beautiful i love like the gold accent on the packaging it works really well with like the monochrome look and with that you also get the exclusive applicator mitt which has a really cool design so everything you need for the ultimate sun kissed glow in one kit. I know what you're thinking, I definitely should have my own segment on QVC, but 
don't worry, I won't do that to you. And then alongside that, I'm going to be using the Saint Tropez Self Tan Purity Bronzing Water Face Mist. This is a new one, you can tell by the little sticky. I've got my old one down here. This is my old one. You can tell they're my old products and they're well loved if they have no lid. So with this, I use it on my face. You can actually use it over makeup, which is amazing, and it will give you a little boost of glow. It also gives you a really nice, like, dewy complexion, which I love. I'm going to do that now. It smells so good. And then I also use this on my hands at the end of my application as well. I find this is really effective on hands, especially if you need to top up. I'm closing the door, guys. My boxes are annoying me. They look messy. So when I do my normal tanning routine from the start and I do my whole body, I use the same application for the rest of my body as I would my hand. I use the same product, but for top ups, this is it. It's so good. And I find especially during like COVID times when you're washing your hands just like a bajillion times a day, I've just found there's been a bigger difference between my like wrist and my hand than there ever has been before. And this I found to be the most effective way of like matching the two back up. So I love using that and I also use it on my chest as well. If my chest, my because I just wash my face so much and use SPF like religiously, this part of me is just always <laughs> so, so pale. And I find because I'm obviously double cleansing and this area just all the time, this area does wear away way quicker so lots of you will know like i said i love the self tan purity bronzing water gel i love this because it goes on and it's completely invisible and you can it's like a leave-on formula so you don't have to like rinse off after any amount of time it has zero color so i loved it for that because i could wear like my white dresses and it wouldn't pose an issue this actually doesn't either oh i need to wow let's sort that lighting out this one doesn't either and that really threw me i don't know how they're doing that but anyway this i loved so much last summer and i still use this this is more of my topper upper after i've used the Lux with mousse. I found it just so easy to throw on in the morning and I would let it kind of dry. It dried really quickly but I'd just dry whilst I was like putting the last finishing touches to my makeup. Or in the peak summer months I could literally just throw it on and then throw a dress on over the top and there would just be zero issue. But this actually dries even faster than the self tan purity bronzing water gel it's just mad to me it's a really rich but lightweight foam like the texture of it completely threw me when i first use it it's like no other mousse i have ever used like you will not find anything else like this upon using it for the first time you'll be like whoa this feels thicker than other mousses but that's actually because most mousses just almost feels like they're dissolving when they hit my skin and they're not really actually doing very much and I have to use so much product to cover the area I'm trying to tan whereas this I can use such a small amount and it really goes a long way because it's not just like dissolving the second it hits my skin which sounds so weird to say it's such a weird way to try and explain this product but honestly it's unlike any other mousse it's really amazing and like I said earlier upon application it does dry really quickly but at the same time you also have a lot of time a lot more time than you originally think to work the product in and get the perfect blend anyway i am going to stop talking about it and i'm going to kind of show you what i mean and talk about it as i'm actually doing something because this is probably real boring for you guys Woo! so this is what it looks like when you pump it out i always apply by sweeping my mitt across the skin and then after i'll blend it in in circular motions but this is amazing when it goes on it makes my skin looks so good by the way i'm not doing this in a bikini today because it's still cold and i'm just not down for being <laughs> that level cold it's not summer yet if you want to see me do this in a full bikini i've done a full tanning routine on the purity range i will link that if you want to go and see me do the whole routine in a bikini yeah as you can see my skin looks so good it almost works as like body makeup as well as like a guide color it gives the best guide color and once you're done blending it dries like Pretty much instantly this has actually been such a good one for me to use recently because i've been so disorganized like i haven't even been leaving myself enough time to just like stand around and wait for something to dry like i need something that is dry like instantly i also haven't been super on it with thinking about tanning in advance so quite often i'll be filming and i'll need to like match my chest and neck to like my arms and i haven't really thought it through the day before and i just use some of this and i put it on my chest and my neck and the guy color saves me this has been saving my bacon so much lately i do use smaller amounts especially right now because i'm talking to you guys i'm not paying my full attention and using smaller amounts and kind of working away at your areas of your body slowly just kind of allows you to have more control over the blend that you're getting and the first time i used this because it was new to me i was using much smaller amounts just to make sure that I had full control over the product because I wasn't sure you know when you use something for the first time you don't know how it's going to dry you can already see such a difference between my arms and my chest and as you can see it's a real golden glow it is beautiful and it's got loads of hydrating ingredients in it and that helps it to not only feel really moisturizing and comfortable in your skin but it also helps your tan last longer as well so this will last you like minimum a week so I'm going to show you this on my chest and my neck I've just zoomed in so this is still nice and PG let's pray I don't get this anywhere I shouldn't. So yeah, I'm just blending that in. I've made a real mess of this. 
<laughs> but just bear with me here. It is so hard to blend and talk. This just makes the most difference for me and it's so great because my neck and chest are just always a completely different colour to the rest of my body. It just makes my skin look really like flawless. I always go right up to my chin. It actually makes my face look a little bit more chiseled when I do it this way. And whilst I'm doing this bit, I always take it round the back of my shoulders and my neck. It just gives the most lovely glow. Normally I do my chest first and then my arms and then I work my way down my torso and then I do my legs from the bottom up and kind of work my way back up. I've just done it a bit backwards today. I feel like I've done my whole day backwards today. But yeah, as you can hopefully see, the guide colour is really lovely and natural and then the final result is also lovely and golden and natural. I actually think I love this just as much as I love the purity gel, but this might be winning for me at the moment, you know? In terms of convenience, this is this is it. I'm just making sure it is really blended on my neck. But yeah, because of the hydrating ingredients in it, it has hyaluronic acid, rosehip oil, and vitamin E. It not only gives you a really long lasting tan, but also it gives you a really even fade as well. Like this, honestly, <laughs> I don't even notice it fading. And I'm not even especially routine on my like exfoliating. I always do it the night before I tan. I did it last night. I've started today with a completely exfoliated base, but I'm not like religious on it throughout the week. If you do want to have the most even long lasting tan, I do highly recommend exfoliating your full body every couple of days and then reapplying the tan twice a week. It just ensures your skin never looks patchy and you're always topped up on your glow and it just if you get into a routine that way, you will just always have a perfect deep and tan. So I've just done my hands, as you can see. I don't even do a new pump, a product onto the mitt. I literally just use whatever the excess is from when I've been blending elsewhere. And that gives me the most natural blend onto my hands. I'm such a big fan of this. The Self Tan Luxe Whipped Mousse actually is my favorite of all tans ever in the world for hands. It just gives, I'll show you tomorrow, it gives the best hand tan. It's it's foolproof. It is completely foolproof. I'm obsessed. I'm really obsessed. I always just make sure I go over my underarms with the excess as well. But yeah, as you can see, that guy colour is just perfect. So I've done my chest and arms. I'm gonna do my full body, but I just felt like we didn't need to do the whole shebang of me and my underwear together on camera. And just in case anyone's wondering, when I do my back, I have a back app but I also found out the other day that one little hack for tanning your back is that you can spray your purity mist over your back. My mind was blown. Honestly, the best tanning hack I think I've ever discovered. Before I go and do my whole body, I will stop talking in a minute. The wash off time with this is incredible. So you can leave it on for a minimum of one hour. You can leave it on for a full like eight hours if you want. And obviously the length of time you leave it on equates to how golden your tan is gonna be. I love the fact that you can leave it on for minimum one hour if you just want like a little boost. And that's something that I love doing. Like sometimes I don't put this on until fairly late in the day. And then when I shower after dinner, I'm just like, I have a little like topped up glow and I love that. And your results appear from four to eight hours after applying, which is so soon. And I just love how quickly it kicks in because if I put it on in the morning and I'm going out in the afternoon, but it's like raining outside and I don't want to leave my tan on, I can quickly wash it off before I go out with goals. This is just such an easy product to incorporate into your routine. They have completely changed my tanning game. I'm obsessed with them. So I'll leave before, during and after is on screen now so you can get a really good overview of what what this tan looks like at all stages. If you are a beginner when it comes to tanning, I would recommend watching my full, like I have a full dedicated video with all of my little tips, tricks, everything, like literally down to like tiny little bits of applications on various bits of your body. And that was using the Saint Tropez Purity Bronzing Water Gel. So I'd highly recommend going and giving that a watch and that also gives full before and afters as well. If you're an experienced tanner and you haven't tried this, this is absolutely going to change your life. And if you're new to tanning, I honestly don't think you'd be happy with anything else after using this. My only advice would be, I remember when I used a mousse for the first time and I was like, uh, what am I doing? Literally just use small amounts and kind of work into smaller areas of your body and kind of go slow so that you're making sure you get the best blend into your skin but this is very foolproof so I would say it's an amazing one whatever your tanning experience level but I would say definitely go and watch my other video just for all the little tiny tips and tricks thank you for coming to my Lux whipped mousse TED talk let's get some tan on my body and get on with the day the tan is on the tan is on oh. I always feel so good even just after applying it, not even after it's developed. It is just the most hydrating, like my skin always looks so nice and so healthy when I use this. Look at that shoulder sheen, so cute. And I also, like this is how confident I am. I sit on this sofa. I really could have had like a tidier looking sofa when I do that pan. Should have shown this corner of the sofa and not Nala's corner. She is actually like fully wrapped up in my dressing gown sleeping on it. Wow. 
No, I sit on this sofa when I've got this tan on. So if that doesn't tell you how confident I am in the fact that it's a non-transferable guy color, I don't know what else will. So I've just made myself a little tea. Some of you might enjoy the rare sighting of my kettle out on the side. It does get used occasionally. And I also thought I'd address the fact that there are no biscuits in this jar. My cute little jar is now no longer able to be a cute little jar of biscuits because Ryan keeps eating them. So now I just have an empty jar and I don't even want to refill the jar because he's just going to eat all of my hobnobs. I'm not okay with that. So now the jar is just empty. He thinks I don't have hobnobs. Narita, she did in fact have hobnobs. I hide them everywhere. Honestly, I hide them at his house. There's hobnobs at his house. He has no idea. He doesn't watch these videos unless I'm watching them, so I'm just never gonna play this video back in front of him. Anyway, I've made myself a fruit tea because the weather has changed and now it feels freezing. I didn't have a heating on, so the temperature just <laughs> plummeted. I was wearing a cute dress and now I've had to put a cardigan on. But yeah, I'll show you my outfit, but I basically had to make myself a little cup of tea because I'm gonna sit at my desk and if I don't make myself a hot drink and it, the weather is like this and it's really chilly, then I get really, really cold at my desk and I can't feel my fingers, so. Cheers. So this is the outfit that I'm currently wearing. I changed out of the shorts and vest top just because that wasn't actually my outfit of the day. I just wanted something that I could like talk to you and tan in. I'm wearing this like knitted ribbed dress, which is from Mango a couple of years ago now. And I just still love it so much. Mango really do make like some key pieces that I will forever keep in my wardrobe. I really rate them. And the fit of this is just lovely. It's not like bodycon, but it's not loose either. It just really like skims my body and yeah i love it i don't know why i'm doing it i should have just taken my cardigan off yeah this is it without the cardigan on it's just really lovely and like figure skimming which i just think is beautiful and it doesn't actually have like a side slit or anything which normally i really gravitate towards but i don't mind with this one i just love the cut on the neckline it's really beautiful and it has a really lovely low back as well it's just perfect for being comfy around the house but you could also really dress this up as well honestly it's just such a key piece in my wardrobe i wore it so much over the summer and autumn and it's back to that time of year where i can wear it again this with a pair of trainers maybe like a blazer thrown over the top maybe a leather jacket if i'm actually feeling that i've done a shopping for spring jackets and i found some really amazing jackets but i was saying i'm really struggling with my leather jackets so yeah that is there if you want to go and watch it but now i'm gonna sit at my desk and write a blog post that I've been meaning to write for so long. This is what my desk set up, hello, is looking like at the moment. It's actually tidy for once, you can tell my team is back to work. And I might take you through some bits in here in a second. But yeah, I've got a blog post that I've been meaning to write for ages. So I'm going to crack on with that. I picked up when I went to Boots the other day. Oh, I haven't been there in ages. The Brighton one is looking so lovely. They've redone it. I got this Forever Perfect Fix from Dior. So it's like a fixing spray for your makeup, which I thought looked really cool. So this is what the packaging looks like. Interested to try that. I then also got one of their lipsticks. I believe this is in the matte finish, I wanna say, in the shade Nude 100. And I've seen a lot of people using it and it looks really nice. I've already used this once if anyone's freaking out at the fact that it's not pristine. So yeah, I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. I'm actually really excited to try this one though. I picked up one of the new liquid lips, also in a nude shade, of course. It looks really nice. And this one's also a little bit more glossy. So I'd seen this around quite a bit and I was so excited to finally get my hands on it. Ah, look at that, it's so pretty. It looks a lot darker than it actually is, that's what it looks like in the light. Yeah, a really nice warm bronze. I am obsessed with this packaging, that is just stunning. And then I also picked up some non-slide hair clips. I got the Fenty Skin Fat Water, which just looks so cool. I was really intrigued to try that. And then I just had a free gift in here, but it's empty now because I gave it to Lauren. Oh, and I also picked up, this is the empty box because it's actually already in my makeup bag, but I picked up a slightly lighter shade of the Touche Eclat foundation. This is the shade BD30. I had the shade BD40, but there are just some days where it's just a little bit too dark and it annoys me. Yeah, that is my little beauty haul. I'm gonna try one of these now. I don't know which one. I'm gonna go with this one. Oh, that's so nice. I tried this last week when I got it, but my makeup was like sliding off my face. <laughs> so it didn't really kind of show me what it was actually gonna look like. Oh, I really like that. 
It's really different for me. It's like a much more pinky tone than I would normally go for. I need to stop looking this way because the sun is bright. It was torrentially raining like two seconds ago and now it's so bright. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at what has arrived. This box is so big. <laughs> I think I could fit in this mango box. Actually, no, I couldn't. My hand's really giving it away that I'm over exaggerating heavily, but it is a big box. I'm very excited to take you through that order. I actually found out when I was making that order that there is actually a limit on how much you can spend and how much you can put in a basket on mango, which was a real learning moment for me because I didn't know that. That I'm gonna have to show you another day because that is like a whole video on its own. So I finished up slightly earlier than usual today, hoovered the house and I'm on my way to Ryan's, which I say I finished up early. That is the Susie Benaldi translation for on time. So I am running on time. But this is my outfit. I have a leather jacket on today. As I spoke about earlier, I was feeling it. And actually it works with a midi dress. I just haven't been able to wear them so much recently. Hello, she knows something is up. So yeah, I've got the Bershka leather jacket on, which is a trusty old favorite of mine, which I love. Oh, are you okay there? Did you just have a bit of a fail? Come on, there we go. So Bershka leather jacket, and then we've got the mango little ribbed dress. I have actually just found a dress like this, but in nude on other stories and purchased it because Oh, the hand came out then. <laughs> Purchased it because it looks so similar to this one with a really nice like kind of low-ish cut across the chest. Like the fit looks really beautiful. I will link it. I've got my Saint Laurent Reeve Gauche, which is literally housing all of my stuff right now. When I stay at Ryan's, I am a true like bag lady. The laptop is in here. Everything is in here. This bag has been just an absolute lifesaver for me really over the past year. Yeah, that is my outfit of the evening. I am gonna go to Ryan's now. I need to get this little beam ready. You ready? No, of course I'm not ready, you stupid woman. I don't have my harness on. I don't have my lead. Do I look ready? Are you coming? Are you coming? <laughs> so, what does Chef Hurley have for us tonight? We've got some sort of Mexican roasted vegetable type thing. Ooh, I really like that you're doing Coriander. this a lot at the moment. Also, just come in to the open pack of tortilla chips and some guac, which I'm very happy about because guac is life. So, this is tonight's pudding. We are having these little melt in the middle chocolate pots with this. This is the best ice cream, honestly, you guys. The best. With a little bit of this, which is also very good. And then I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of this on the top as well. So we've got our pudding. We've just watched Scotland's Home of the Year. And now we're going to watch Gardener's World. What did lockdown do to me, honestly? These flowers are pretty, though. That is what I call a perfect evening. Good morning, everybody. I have literally just been getting ready done half my makeup like I have one eye with eyeshadow on and I got so excited by the products that I was using I switched on my camera halfway through to talk to you guys about it oh this feels very 90s I'm gonna roll with it I love this clip I think I got it from ASOS I'm really enjoying it at the moment but anyway just got back from Ryan's this morning thrown on this dress I'm gonna be doing a little try on haul with you today I'm gonna show you the dresses that have arrived the most gorgeous like springy summery dresses i'm gonna go more with summery but i have been eyeing them up for so long so i've literally just thrown this dress on just as a like temporary thing but i'm really enjoying this one at the moment it's from nasty gal you will have seen it in my last spring summer dress try on haul video but anyway i was halfway through my eyeshadow i'm using this from bobby brown which i love bobby brown we have a bobby brown in brighton i very rarely get the chance to go in there and have a little shop but i love it when i do i think it's quite heavily associated with like being like quite a bridal brand but i love them for that because they do some really great neutrals i think they're really underrated so if you're into your like nude tones they also do color really beautifully but some of their lipstick shades are some of my absolute favorites what is it ballerina pink is one of my favorites and it always gets lost in my handbag and every so often i find it and it's like the best day but this eyeshadow is gorgeous. What is the shade name? This is the High Shine Liquid Eyeshadow in Gold Fusion. It is beautiful. Let me see if I can zoom you in. It's really soft and subtle. But it gives just like a really nice brown sheen to my eyelids. I normally really struggle with brown because they're either too warm or they don't bounce enough light around to make my eyes pop. And the brown eyeshadows on the brown eyes just looks a little bit wishy-washy. I don't know if you can see that sheen. It's just so pretty and you can really build it up. So as you can see, I've got it on the back of my hand and it's got this really like beautiful, like crystally shimmery effect. It's really beautiful. For my base, by the way, I just used this, which is the YSL Touche Eclat foundation. This is the new packaging, which I really like. It looks very similar to the YSL All Nighter packaging. And I really like the fact that they now 
kind of align. And then I've also used the Kevin Aquan Foundation Balm. This is the shade Medium FB06. I also have Medium FB7.5. I think this is the one that I used today because I obviously used the Saint Tropez Self Tan Purity Bronzing Water Face Mist all over my face, so it's a little bit more tan today and that is amazing for my acne scarring which is on its way out but it's a journey so I still have a little bit here a little bit here and some on my forehead and it just really helps to cover so well it's a really lovely creamy texture that gives like a matte to satin look to the skin which I really love and then I go in with the Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk the beauty light wand it is stunning that that is this and a little bit of the Touche Claire because the Touche Claire is glowy on its own, but I like that little bit of extra. So one thing I've been doing a lot lately is concealer after my eye makeup. And not only blending it underneath my eye and in the inner corners, but also taking it right the way up to my hairline, which looks a bit crazy right now, but bear with me. And what this does is not only make sure that my under eye area is clear of like any fallout and is all concealed and brightened but it also gives this illusion of like your face just being a little bit like lifted here and I obviously blend it out so there's no like harsh lines because that would look a little bit crazy but it really helps to lift the face and I always try and make sure the line kind of goes in line with my cheekbones you may have seen when I was doing my eyeshadow contour that I kind of take the eyeshadow up towards my hairline as well I get a lot of questions on my eyeliner and what I use for it I actually just use literally like a matte black eyeshadow and then a little tiny tiny angled brush and i basically just stamp it into place because that is the most foolproof way to get good liner but i do make sure i like build it up and then use like a powder or setting spray over the top because otherwise it does tend to wear off a little bit throughout the day the mascara this week i'm actually using the bare minerals strength and length mascara i am an absolute mascara floozy at the moment this year i have not been able to stick to one i'm using this because i actually had a, an abnormal i would say for me amount of eyelash fallout which is very strange I don't know what's going on. But it kind of freaked me out. But one of the things I actually really like about this mascara is I believe I read somewhere that it also kind of tints your eyelashes. So then when you take your mascara off, you actually like have slightly darker lashes, which I don't know if I can tell straight away because I think I have to really look at them and like really inspect them because I have really dark eyelashes anyway. Like it is a very good lengthening mascara. If you have quite short lashes and you're looking for something very lengthening that also adds volume as well. I would say this is actually a very good one. Moving on to brows, I've gone back to the Hourglass Brow Arch. And this is the shade Warm Brunette. I can basically use any of their brunette shades. It's such a fine pencil that you really don't notice that much of a difference. So I'm just gonna use a clear brow gel today. This is the Kevin Aquan True Feather Brow Marker Gel Duo. This is the longest product name I think I've ever come across. The brow gel on this is very good. I really like it. It keeps your brows firmly in place. This is a great alternative to soap brows. I actually feel like I have used this so much that I'm coming to the end of it. Like I'm having to really shake it to get product up. Hence why I've gone back to the hourglass. Okay, first time using the new Dior bronzer. I feel like I shouldn't even be touching this. It's so pretty. I'm using a spectrum brush for this. This is the A04. All of my white brushes that you see spectrum i really like the brushes and this is one of my favorites i use it for blush and bronzer it's a little bit darker than i would normally go for i actually recently started using lighter bronzers and i really enjoy them but it's nice i think it works well especially if i want to contour i've recently been using this from armani this is the luminous silk glow fusion powder oh my god this is incredible i will be repurchasing this because it is amazing i love it that is how much i have left it's so so gorgeous that is the shade seven but i thought before i purchased a new one i'd try something new just to not be a creature of habit because over the past couple of years i've become such a creature of habit with my makeup routine like my makeup bag rarely changes i think it's a nice bronzer i really love the way it blends it's doing great things considering my skin the texture is currently not looking so great so it's blended really beautifully considering so i'm just finishing up by applying my blush with the same spectrum brush this is the Bare Minerals blush in that peach though. This I apply to like the top part of my cheek and then blend out in like really wide circular motions down. Add a little bit to my nose and I'm just gonna line my lips. I'm using MAC Stone Lip Liner which effectively acts as lip contour almost in a way rather than an actual lip liner. And this works whether I'm wearing literally no makeup or a full face. I love it. 
It makes such a difference. So yesterday we tried the Rouge Dior matte lipstick in the shade Nude 100. Today I'm thinking we're going to go for the liquid lip, which is a little bit glossier. I believe they do these in matte as well, but the sales assistant persuaded me. So this is the Forever Liquid in the shade 100. So basically very similar, but more of a creamy sheen. And one thing I always do with my lip products now is I basically like blend them in. Weirdly, I always like the way my lip product looks at the end of the day. So this is effectively what I'm doing is making it look a little bit more like lived in. I think this is gonna be quite long wearing, which is great. I love that. These are colors that I don't have in my nude lipstick collection as well. I really like the fact that it's not a purpley nude. Lots of high-end brands don't do nudes particularly well. And there's always like a mauvey tint to it. And it's just a little bit like, mm. so I'm just gonna quickly straighten my hair. Because I'm doing try-ons, I just feel like it's a lot easier if my hair is just like straight and sleek and it's really minimal and it doesn't distract from the clothes. Before I tied my hair up when we started, I applied some of this Kerastase oil. This oil is so good. It has heat protection in it. All of their blonde absolute products have heat protectant in them, which I just think is so important. Whether you bleach your hair or not is so important, but especially for bleached or coloured hair. Mine still actually has like bleach on the ends underneath the colour that's currently on it and you can kind of see like it just beams on through. So I still actually use products that are a little bit more catered that way. I also have my DHD Bodyguard Heat Protect spray this one which i use literally every day even if i've already got like some kind of heat protectant on i'm also using the ghd platinum styler plus I have the black ones at the moment and i think i'll stick with the black ones Thank you for watching my little impromptu get ready with me. Let's go try on some dresses. Okay, are you ready? I have been so excited to unbox these. So I picked up some things from Reformation. I think the packaging is really cute. I've been eyeing up a couple of dresses from them for a long time and their marketing Instagram strategy, like they were targeting me. Like they knew that I wanted stuff from them and it was literally appearing like every single day. And it just got to the point where net -a didn't have the stuff that I wanted. So I just ordered off their website and I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna order the dresses, like the shebang, the whole shebang, because if I've got to pay the shipping, I'm just gonna do it. So I'm not gonna lie, there are still some other dresses that I did really want. There's one particular style, I can't remember what it's called, like the Courtney or something like that. And it's just the most beautiful style of dress. And there's one print in particular that I am so obsessed with, but it's sold out literally everywhere. I hope they bring it back, but oh, you guys know I love a blue and white. I really, really love a blue and white print. And this dress is so cute, it's so light like a really nice summery little mini dress. I generally tend to steer away from mini dresses. I don't have so many of them in my summer wardrobe, I'm much more of a midi dress to a maxi dress kind of girl. And if I'm not gonna do that, then I normally go for shorts. I have very few dresses like this, but I couldn't resist this print. And I just thought that this style of dress, I would actually get a lot of wear out of. This would look perfect with so many different types of jackets. Like this is a nice one to go with a denim jacket, but you can also go like blazer, leather jacket whatever you want kind of vibes but it would also look cute just with a little cardigan over the top so i just felt like it was very versatile and i wear my h&m blue midi dress so much but it is much more of a feminine shape and sometimes i don't want that so i thought this would be the perfect alternative and i would get a lot of wear out of it because i get so much wear out of my h&m one and then keeping on the blue theme i'm so excited to try this on i really hope it's not too long it could well be too long and that will make me very sad. This color blue is so pretty. It's like a long ribbed midi dress, well, maxi dress, I'm gonna say. I can't remember how long it was on the model, but I do remember it being like fairly long and me being like, this could be a disaster, but we'll see. Zara do have a similar one, but in orange, so we'll see. I think like Arquette or and other stories might also have that color and that style of dress. So maybe that would be better for me. And then finally, I am so excited. For this dress. Please fit me. <laughs> please, please, please fit me. It's very similar to what I'm wearing right now, except a little bit more fitted. It's got a nice like floaty skirt, but not too floaty. It's got a little slit here. It's very similar to the one I showed you in my Zara haul, which I did keep and I love. And that is what made me take the plunge with this style of dress because I love my Zara one so much. Let's hope that they fit. I'll show you what they look like on now. So this first one is gorgeous, albeit a little bit big across the chest and shoulders. I have a little bit of, I don't know if you can see, there's a little bit of kind of sagging going on at the back. It just needs to be a little bit shorter on the straps and then it would be perfect 
perfect. Literally just taken up a fraction, not too much, because then I think the rest of the stitching and shape of the dress is like brought up too high. It's such a lovely length, a really lovely fit other than that. And I love this print. It's so pretty. And the little side slit is so cute as well. It is very summery, but not even necessarily holiday summer vibes you know you could still get away with wearing this in the uk and it wouldn't feel like oh i'm meant to be wearing this on holiday and i really like that so yeah what do we think do i take it up myself because i feel like straps are always a relatively easy one to do what do we think i am so sad about this dress i think had it actually been ordered in a size down it would have been just tight enough to maybe be able to bring it up a little bit you know sometimes when you get a midi dress and they are tighter and they ride up a little bit i could have gotten away with it because of that but this actually has a lot of extra room in it so it's not bringing the dress up at all yeah sadly this would need to be worn with heels which isn't necessarily my ideal way to wear so this one is going to be going back i was literally praying to the summer dress that gods that this one would fit and it does it actually fits like a dream i think it was meant to be it is so beautiful i love the stitching on this it like hits exactly the right point it really cinches you in it gives a lot of shape around here the fit around the shoulders is perfect my nasty girl dress which is a little bit like this but more flowy on the skirt i would say just constantly falls off my shoulders which i deal with because it is cute and affordable but obviously reformation dresses do cost more and for that amount i would hope that they would stay on my shoulders and they do they're really nice and snug but without being tight i'm literally so happy it's such a cute dress the slit is just like the perfect length i think it could use a steam but it still looks great i'm loving it it'll look even better once it's had a little steam oh it's so cute and then i also have some bits that i picked up from zara slash zara home they're kind of like really merging at the moment which is kind of interesting to me slightly confusing as well because sometimes you can get things in stock on one and not on the other i will never understand but i picked up these really cute little like notebook binder things i'm not sure if this one has my notes in it so i'm gonna have to double check yes this one actually has my notes for this vlog <laughs> but this one's actually like graph paper i don't know if you will actually be able to see but i really like the fact that you can slip this notebook out and basically refill it i love that and then i also have this little one which i really like it's got the thread kind of binding and this one is just like plain on the inside it's very sketchbooky i'm not gonna lie i feel like i should be writing in this one in pencil but these are so pretty they work so well in the office i couldn't resist picking them up and then i have a rather large box from zara home so i was really intrigued by this they had an xxl pillow so you can see that one back there that's like a large or an extra large cushion this one looks huge it's like double maybe triple the size of that pillow and i thought it'd be so cool not only as a garden pillow but also as like a floor pillow in the house like ryan sometimes sits on the floor and plays playstation it would also be nice to have like an xxl pillow like to put behind us on the bed sometimes when we're like sitting up in bed that would be goals and they had two xxl cushion covers so i got one that is very summery this would go beautifully in the garden i think it's really cute very white company-esque and then there's a beautiful linen one which would probably be my choice for indoors i think it would work really nicely in the living room bedroom you know whatever room and then they did a giant xxl pillow which is actually way better quality than that one back there like i think this one will be choppable which is goals and so much more comfy to sit on that one's like comfy but it gets out of shape really easily so i'm going to put this together and we'll see how big it is and how it looks just to give you an idea of size this is kind of what we're looking at i think this is going to be so cool such a nice one to have either on the bed or i'll pop it in this kind of corner here or this corner up here but it'll be really nice to sit on the floor on outside if we've got a few too many people it's like a proper feather pillow so it's properly squishy it's going to feel so nice i think it's most likely going to live here i kind of like it I am about to start making some dinner. I poured myself a little glass of rosé because it's one of my favourite things to do when I'm left in the house to my own devices and I'm making my own dinner is a little glass of rosé and then cooking, especially if I've still got a few bits of work to do, which I do. And then finally I'm going to follow up this evening with a nice bath. And I actually picked up, is it in here? 
No, it's in the living room. I picked up a new book. I'd run out of books and I haven't had a bath. Like I've obviously showered and you know, washed myself, but I actually haven't had a bath in ages because I'd run out of books to read. So I picked one up when I was doing my shop in Asda earlier. I did a little walk, went out to vote, went to Asda, busy little afternoon. And then there's been a lot of like editing and signing off going on here. So still not done with my work clothes today. I just have a couple more bits to do, which are like nice little bits. I'm gonna sit with my wine and do those this evening. It's gonna be a good evening. I have a very happy boyfriend who's got a radio interview tonight on Kiss, which is so cool. And then by the sounds of it, some Radio 1 plays over the weekend. So I have a very happy boyfriend, which makes me very happy because it means we're celebrating with a Prosecco weekend, which is just great. I've had a nice day. I've been feeling really good today. I think since I uploaded my assumptions video where though everyone really went in, I kind of went in back and I feel like I got some stuff off of my chest that I've been like holding on to for such a long time. And I'm feeling really good now. And I can't tell if it's because of that or just because it's kind of like allowed me to start afresh. And I feel like I'm like really kind of taking care of myself. And I feel like maybe I'm being kinder to myself. I'm not sure, but I've been feeling really good since that video. And I wanted to say thank you for all of your lovely comments. Like there are just so many. It was so overwhelming. So I just wanted to say a big thank you to everyone who left a comment on that video because it really did mean so much to me. Like so many people have gone even off of YouTube and gone onto Instagram and my DMs were like great. So yeah, anyway, thank you very much for that. Angel baby pie, how did you sleep? Good morning everybody. We have come for a little outdoor coffee yeah. this morning. Hey this dog. one <laughs> You haven't been in the vlogs in so long. I know. I'm back. <laughs> She's officially back. And I'm waiting for my coffee. We are trying out a new place this morning and I'm hoping it's gonna be good. It's called Rock Water. And I have brought my camera and I'm finally going to drop some of my writing recommendations onto the blog uh, in the next couple of weeks because you guys have been asking for it so much in my DMs. So much. Um, so I'm finally getting around to it and I'm excited. Um, I might also have to order some food because their menu looks so good. I am particularly excited about this hot dog, but also this sounds great, but I don't think I can have that. I think I'm gonna have the iced latte, but I'm also really into these juices. I'm really sad that this is a company that already exists for juices because that was my dream. I literally said it to Lauren the other week and I was like, oh my God, why have I never had an original thought in my whole life? This is so sad. This is where I think I'm gonna end the vlog because Lauren has informed me that it's like 40 minutes long and she's not even put in last night's footage. So I'm so sorry for you. <laughs> Um, and I'm also sorry there wasn't a video on Monday, but I have been really terrible at planning out my content and adjusting to life. So <laughs> we're missing a video, but we'll be back in full force from now on. So I'm gonna go now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Also, can we take a moment for the tan? The fact that it hasn't faded because my neck and my face actually matched up this morning still when I did my makeup and I was very, whoa. <laughs> I was very happy about that. So thank you very much to Sandra Pay for sponsoring this vlog. I will link all of the products I used in the info box below if you want to go pick them up. ASOS is my favourite place and they stock them on there. So I will link that. But yeah, I will see you guys again very soon. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Oh, oh, she <laughs> ended it. That's a first.